There's the quarry Fearless mentioned. Yeah, damn, these these guys are all over the police. At least the armor upgrade was gonna like take more of a hit and all. We crippled them from walking. <laughs> oh no, man, what? <clears throat> One less machine. Well, we're getting a lot of shards right now. That's good. To adjust my sensitivity so I can like aim faster. Come on over here. We gotta talk. It feels a bit slow for my liking. I I think I can uh, make the the aiming more sensitive. Hold on, let's see. I don't know. I don't think they have the... I don't know if you can, like, really adjust it. I'll play with it later. <clears throat> we tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard. One of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? 
We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole court without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to this is hella fun. Uh, I love it. This game is so good. Can lift a hammer till Olin blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olin holds that much power. He's got he'll ban and us. connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. I don't want to get banned. Hell no. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olvin's claim, digging out stone to show our barren life. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thump before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. By the Forge. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. Oh yeah, stay safe. My work here is done. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olven the good news. What is to? Oh, these are rocks. Maybe this embassy can finally happen. I think we looted everything. I doubt I need to pick up like a million sticks, dude. Uh, we could use a couple of these plants, though. That's why I didn't want to pick all of them up, because then when we actually need them, they'll be around. I... <clears throat> oh, more customers. He's not looking. Oh man, he hit us. He's already alerted. I don't think we can still kill him. Like he's alerted. Ow. They're only. What I'm doing is it. moving so fast, so. Give me the loot, give me the loot. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're a Vanguard. Well, yeah, you're everybody calls me Savior all the time. That's annoying. We can get rid of these what do I look like? Lives. Jesus? Jesus is the Savior. I'm not the Savior. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I, I don't know. probably get going. 
Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks, I'll make sure to I know what to do. Way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Oh, smoke bombs. I was going to say, what did she give us? Ah, like a ninja. Escape back to the stealth. Hell yeah. It's a whole new world of adventure for us. This game is the shit, isn't it? This is the shit, isn't it? Like Popeye's fried chicken. Popeye's fried chicken is the shit, isn't it? I can't believe I died for that like first uh, encounter. Uh, died in front of Aaron and shit, looking like a chump. Like the stupid tutorial on these acid arrows when that's not even necessary. It's like I definitely feel like we get better stuff off this board if we kill it with the spear instead of the bow. A squirrel. Let's try it. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's just luck. What do we have over here? Machines. Creeping on them. It's like a deer. Down it goes. I'm sure he didn't take it down. Actually, rather tough. Oh, my God, getting myself into trouble again. Oh my god. Oh. Retreat into the water. Do you see me? Dipping into the town. Oh no, I like that. Uh -huh.
So we got a save point right here. Okay. Well, we can't, can't save. I guess we gotta go talk to this guy again. Yes, I have returned victorious. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. Oh, come on. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it, friends. Yeah, you don't around. trust me, man. This guy hustling, man. Has done it again. I told you I failed him. You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha ha. Yeah. He actually didn't say that. But that's what I say. I guess I do. Word. Now the merchants are open. Yeah, that was the problem. I couldn't talk to them. <clears throat> Word. Just like an old one. We got to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. I'm gonna wait on the other armor. That's, uh, kinda expensive to upgrade them right now. We definitely don't want to spend like all our money. That's not smart in this game because you actually need the money to make arrows and shit. So if you spend all your money, you want to be able to make ammunition. So that's, that's bad. Oh, you're yeah, right. <clears throat> I feel bad. I want to wear the gifts that they gave me, but the way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron. This armor is clearly better <laughs> right now. Bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. End up. It looks good to me. <laughs> and waiting up ahead for you. I don't really like the way it looks, but. I'm off to Baron Lightwadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. The riffraff. The rap scallions. How's that like? Like Aloy looks beautiful no matter what she like. Right. I love that hair. I I'll <clears throat> be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dawn somewhere first. And maybe take Petra. Oh, yeah. Drink. When an Osaram dress as the Osaram to. I, I did that in the other game too. I like to collect like all the armors that they have because some of them like do better things, like different things. And like some different situations require different armors. 
Especially like on a uh, like a very hard difficulty you could do later. <clears throat> Remedies for all who that was one that got really fun. That's a, the second time through. The first time is just like um pretty easy. We sold some stuff. Let's see what else they have to offer. Hey Milda, Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy uh. it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted. Some of your food? Of course. Food. I'm hungry. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh yeah, they constantly demand. You can't kill machines on an empty stomach. To make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. <laughs> and don't get me started on the Alvin discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse, I make meals. No trouble. If you refuse, they burn your place down. Well, I've heard. How did you end what? up in Chainscrape? <laughs> heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Well, that is There's not a town, nice. Tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted You will never hear any. Before. Anyway, next thing like I Like hate speech or mean shit on my channel. Oh no. We're nice. We don't play that shit. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I can use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special group griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my You get much dishes. more from people by being pleasant than when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goods. Being a fucking Even asshole, if I little had asshole. The right ingredients, like, there's nothing <clears> I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle... I knew I should be hunting animals. I was like, watch me one and need that. So you quickly find one in the scrounger pile. If you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? Yeah. If you say so. Never. All right. All right. Got enough meat and bitter meat. I'm pretty sure I already have yeah. the stuff. How goes your search? Oh. About that. What did you need to make your signature dish? A corrugated metal panel, for starters. I, I don't know if I have that, though. You could probably pull one out of a scrounger scrap pile northeast of here. I'll clean it first, don't worry. Oh, he already itself, said that. Then I can get cooking. I should be going. Right. I know I got the meat. I probably don't have the um, Save here. the metal you thing you want. My condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. 
the idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the Dawn, it's... it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut all of them up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osoram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce... I know, this game I'm probably going to take a long time, I bet. <clears throat> exactly. With the Daunt under Osoram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the my bad, I'm so like drinking my drink. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd. Right, I'm a thirsty motherfucker. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. Hell yeah! Blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession. Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks bad to ale. intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth cool maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding barren light instead I know, so what... Why does it show yes. this symbol Something here? Else? I need to go. Of course. So many people that want favors and stuff. <laughs> Oh, what? This is like a game you can play. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here. Hey. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> I guess we so won't far. be leaving right away Fire after all. Like, we're gonna stay and party. Fire and spit. Like it's 1999. <laughs> the forge but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while like what well things aren't as bad since you got this place running again 
But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If I gotta split this down, episode properly. <clears throat> anyway, uh. right now I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall to come all this way enduring Forge knows what. Shadow card refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Right, the game ends with you stabbing yourself in the hand. That's the dumbest game to play. That's so fucking stupid as shit. And Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. I never heard them talk about that before. My bad, I'm being like quiet. I don't want to like talk over everything. Like, overall, they're peaceful. Not that it matters. I know it's probably not like make a very good video of me being my quiet. Convince him to set up camps. I'm interested. So the bristlebacks. They all have so much to say. Except for that guy. Oh, the Lyra. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. Lost some good people. I mean, they they put a lot of effort into this game on the first one too. There was like so much dialogue. Put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if like a lot of voice acting. Smash them all together and run them out of town. This is a very good game. Original one. Two words. Concession decree. So far, this seems no one knows where the a lot the same. Like, has taken to blaming the Karja for him. Very so good. Dig up enough old resentment. Good shit. Right going until the concession signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. People actually believe him. I gotta get used to like the new armor system and all that. Like, it, it seems better though. I don't think you like really upgraded the armors like that uh, in the like old game though. No. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. They had their own like expensive. set values and then you um could add, out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Like those modules to it, sense. like their chips. You could always leave <laughs> and go back east. The coils, yeah, that's what I meant to they say. The to coils. The Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. You had to farm the coils. There was like special coils too that you could get playing the, the story. That there was well, only they one. They themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. This so girl is dead. By a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't really know, but I'll tell you this: should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, oh yeah, a stormbird heart. Not that Tolan Clean Brokers ever lost. Stormbird, that's breaking. hard to take down. <laughs> This you need a rope to ask there for that. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain But they scrape. still have that here. Me and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals <clears throat> and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin. I'm an expert <laughs> hunter <laughs> of all the so. things Tallinn in the land. All the scales. things. And he ain't the I know how to, to take down each one. Get between him and Stormbird Salvage. But it, it is foolish to take it on a stormbird without um a good. We need a strong rope, rope caster. That way you can pin it to the ground, and when you pin it to the ground, you can mess that shit up. So, you gotta pull that thing down to earth. I did a stream one time and I was like playing very hard on Zero Horizon Zero Dawn and I was just hunting. I already beat the game so I was like nothing else to do except hunt. But, but it's really fun dude. I love this game. It would mean 
that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junkyard. Too bad they come out at the same time as dying, like, too. It's not like, I don't know which one I want to play. They're both really good. I'm like, fuck it, we're doing content on both of them at the same time, but... <clears throat> well, from up that way, I like to do to one game at a time, but to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. I want to make content on this game too before it's like old. We we I wanted to play yesterday, but I didn't get the chance. But like I was saying in the first stream of this, I was like, I got really sick that day this came out. And I was like, I needed an extra day to rest. I was going to get on earlier, but um, I'll wait. There's one more person to talk to in here. Yeah, it shows we're not done here. Who am I looking for? Oh, oh, I guess we're going out, out this way. Oh, we gotta talk to this person. We gotta talk to this person. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Stop talking. Blow the user's arm off. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. So, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... I don't want the weapon that blows the user's I arm off. I'm with a customer. I, I'm not a customer. I got it. Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. But boom One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced, explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Ah, sounds interesting. Are you two from around here? Ah, javelin thrower. Send us out west in search of some unknown. The name needs work. That we'll know but. when we see it. Sounds like you've had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Traveling alone. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. There was an incident. Another incident involving explosives. Hey, that's your sister. You shift us out the next day. Huh. Shouldn't call her your apprentice. Like, what is that? Like, sounds like my sister. She always wants to be, like, superior. Hold on, like. And the fact that she's younger than me, it's like, oh, I'm your elder girl. Show me respect. Or Undoubtedly. But people on, treat me like you shit. Remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I they think I'm it. stupid. I can use they for think I'm stupid. Throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that it has in the projectile is better. But I'm Boomer actually very smart. Tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? With that video I made about that. Uh, that glitch, dude, like There's all those people side. don't they even understand like what was going on. They were just, <laughs> they thought they did, but they actually exactly. don't know. Yeah, that. And like I, I played just with it a little bit and I figured out exactly what was going on with it. Right? But the real innovation, <laughs> keep it yourself. Cause I'm smart. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it I could actually take credit for it cause you get them for me. It's yours. Like I figured out um, the fine tunings of it. 
<clears throat> they, I saw like videos of other people were doing on it, and it's like it kind of like pointed me at it, pointed it out to me that it is this. But then it's like they didn't really understand like how they were doing it exactly. And they were like, they also thought they were like getting random stuff and it's like, it actually goes by the item, whatever item you're ho hovering over on the other screen, it's like... Override or charger.